استخدام حاسوب وبعض البرامج المتاحة للشراء في السوق الإلكترونية السوداء يمكن تنفيذ عمليات أمنية شديدة التعقيد في الفضاء الإلكتروني. There are a lot of different types of cyber attacks out there, and the type of attack that's typically used depends on the objective of the cyber attacker. Everybody is at risk. It is easy for me as an attacker to go out and use technology to find vulnerabilities. And then once I find all the people that are vulnerable, I can look in there and say, who has the most money or who has what I want? And then they become my target. الأهداف مواقع حيوية ومصنفة في خانة الأمن القومي للدول المستهدفة شبكات كهرباء، سدود مائية، مستشفيات، بنوك والعديد من الأهداف مهددة على مدار الساعة بهجمات سيبرانية Yeah, hackers have both technical and um, psychological or social skills. Um, they've gotten very good with, uh, with phishing emails or things they might send you in a text or things that they put in Facebook. All of this, they understand it's very much, while it's a technical set of tools, they're very much working on your mind, right? They're trying to change your behavior. They're trying to get you to take an action that is beneficial to them. And they know it's just not the technical part. They have to understand how your mind works and they have to get to your decision-making process. And phishing, actually, it's the number one attack that we are dealing with nowadays. Actually, it's over 60% of attacks that are actually happening through phishing. Another type of an attack might be related with social engineering. Uh, where someone is trying to physically get us into something. There might be a person getting into a building, there might be a pens person even dropping a pen drive in front of our building. So these are the attacks that we are experiencing. The major goal, obviously, to get is to get access to our system. So either we're going to do it through technology or we're going to do it through a human. بلغ عدد مختلف هجمات البرمجيات الخبيثة حول العالم خلال عام 2020 خمسة مليارات وستمائة مليون هجوم شكلت منها هجمات الفدية ثلاثمائة وأربعة ملايين محاولة Hackers are a very interesting group, I think, from a, from a social background and a psychological background. Uh, there's a certain level of I have to prove I can do this and I can get to you. And some of them are just motivated by the hack. The money is almost incidental. And so it's a very interesting set of motivations. It's the, I'm really technically smart, but I can also make money. And so that makes them very dangerous. These organizations are very professional. They are friendly, they are respectful. Um, they talk in a very educated way and they start this negotiation by telling you what they want, which is always a lot of money and no cooperation. It's interesting because they know exactly the right amount of money because they have analyzed the company before, very often for five or six months, so they know exactly the revenue, they know the profit, they know all the figures, very often better than uh, the own manager as his company. ما هي خطورة ونتائج الهجمات السيبرانية على الأمن العالمي؟ كيف تتم عمليات التسلل والاختراق؟ وأي دول في قفص الاتهام؟ من هم المدافعون والمفاوضون خلال الهجوم وبعده؟ If our world is unfortunate enough to get into World War III or another major conflict, that a lot of that conflict is going to happen in cyberspace. And countries that aren't used to being attacked directly can now be attacked directly through cyberspace. And so that's going to change the dynamic of warfare.